Okay, so we're back in Joshua Tree. We picked whoop, up whoop. some food and we're about to head into the park to go rock climbing. <laughs> I've been coming to the Joshua Tree now for, I don't know, years. Uh, I do a lot of rock climbing, and so I'd always come down here to spend uh, weekends, weeks at a time. So some good insider information is if you're coming to Joshua Tree, there's Hidden, and you want to go to Hidden Valley, and you want to go walk around Hidden Valley Campground, there's Barker Dam Road, which is just past the two left and right turns for those major parking lots. If you go down that road, not only will you hit Barker Dam, which is another popular spot in Joshua Tree, but there's parking all along that road. Typically that does fill up, but not as quickly as the two parking lots do. So if you see those lots full, head down that road and you'll probably find somewhere to park at. We don't necessarily have a game plan of what climb we're gonna do, but we're gonna go through Hidden Valley and just kind of like walk by a few and see what's open and just kind of hop on whatever has the shortest line. It's like insanely busy this weekend. So there's a ton of rock climbers, there's a ton of hikers. Obviously we don't want to like stand in line for too behind long. other people to do a climb, yeah. So yeah. we're gonna see what's open. We're gonna see what we can just hop on. Climb number one, two parties ahead, so let's go to the next thing. When you're hiking around Joshua Tree, it's really important to read trail markers and to see exactly where you're going. One of the biggest problems that Joshua Tree runs into are called social trails, where you're walking on a path and you veer off the trail and it looks like a trail still, but it's not. It's just where people have continued to walk where they're not supposed to. So it's always important just to like make sure you're on a correct trail. There's a lot of trail markers. You want to give plants a chance to live. It is really cold in the shade. I did not bring a warm enough jacket. <laughs> so, climbs are graded. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so someone knows how hard a climb is based on its grade. So the pers first person that ever did a that particular climb will be like, oh, that was kind of hard, I'm going to grade it at this, or oh, that was really easy, I'm gonna grade it at this. So grading is pretty subjective based on who did it first and how, how yeah, how good of a climber they are, how hard or easy they perceive certain moves to be. Different areas in the United States and the world are have similar grading systems, but will have some variation based on which people developed that area or were the ones that mainly did like the first ascents on those climbs and gave it the first grading. <laughs> Top. I took the GoPro off the helmet because it was getting in the way climbing, but made it to the summit. This next one is a 510A. We don't know the name of it, so after the climb, we'll check and let you know.
two climbs. Um, we're gonna go back to the van right now and make a little bit of lunch, late lunch, and then um, probably go back out and do one or two more climbs before the sun fully goes down. Okay, we're back at the van. We're gonna make some lunch real quick and then try to get back out and do one, maybe two more climbs. How do you feel about that? I'm excited for food. I'm hungry. So are we gonna make? We're gonna make burrito bowls now. So we're pretty much out of water. So we got it. We don't know if we have enough water to boil to make rice for our bowls that we want to make. But the other thing is we don't know if we have enough water to wash the lettuce that we want to use in the bowls without rice. So We had enough water to boil some rice and to wash the lettuce, so we made burrito bowls, which is just rice, lettuce, some meat. Okay, we finished our dinner, late lunch slash early dinner. <laughs> it's five o'clock and it's a dark outside. We're gonna go do one more climb before we head out. So we're heading back to one of the original routes that we had checked earlier today that other people were on. We're hoping that one of them have opened up. really fun. It's called Sail Away. It's like a 5, 8 minus, I think. But uh, we're gonna hike back to the van right now. All right, we're back at the van. I tweaked my back on something. I don't know what, but it hurts a lot, so I gotta take it easy right now. But Nugget's out. Nugget's on me. Nugget says hello.